Hello and welcome to another React uploading video. My name is Yoav and this time I'd like to show you a few techniques to easily display the upload progress in your app. In today's video, we'll take advantage of several of the hooks uploading exposes, several of which I showed in the hooks intro video. Check out the link at the top if you haven't watched it yet or simply continue on. These hooks are quite self-explanatory and simple to use. Today, I have three parts to cover. First, we'll see how to quickly add progress info for an upload item using just a simple textual display. Next, we'll switch to a more visual progress indicator with a component from the RC progress package. For the third and last part, we'll learn how to add progress indicators for the batch specifically and each item within the batch separately. As always, the code for this video and all other videos is conveniently available from a public repo I had set up. The link, the link is in the description below. All of the code in today's video will be relying on two of Uploading's packages. The main Uploading package with the provider and all the hooks, and the Upload button package. The aforementioned RC progress package is also used for its cool circle progress indicator. Let's get into some code. For the first part, we'll use the item finish and item progress listener hooks. We'll quickly set up the uploading provider so it knows where to upload the files to. And next we want to use the hooks to get the progress info to our user. However, please remember, uploading hooks can only be called from components that are rendered inside the uploading provider component. This is why we'll create our custom component here and add the hooks from there. We'll create a state variable to store our progress info. From the item progress listener hook, we'll update the state with the item's completed property. It holds the uploaded percentage for the file being uploaded. Then we'll use the item finish listener hook to set the state to finished. Notice I'm using the function variant for the set state operation. If you're not familiar with this technique, I made a video about it. See the link at the top right now. Okay, we'll render our textual status using a style paragraph component. I'm using style components for these tutorials, but you're free to use your preferred styling technique, of course. Let's take a fairly large file so we can see the progress updates taking place. Now our app shows the percentage going up until the item finishes uploading. That was pretty easy, right? For the second part of this tutorial, we'll see how we can integrate the progress info with a more visual and compelling UI. I'm using the easy to use and cool looking RC progress library, but it will of course work with just about any other component out there, or one that you create yourself if you're so inclined. As before, we quickly add our new story with the uploading provider. Now, in our custom component, we'll also store the progress info into our state, but this time only the numeric value. We'll show a pending message while the app is waiting for the user to choose the file to upload, and we'll import the circle component from RC Progress. Style it a bit so it looks nice in our app. Again, I'm using style components, which I highly recommend checking out if you're not familiar with, but you can use another solution as well. Once it's styled correctly, I add it to the component with a few props that again will make it look, look just the way I want it, with some gradient colors and a little bit of jazz. The only thing left to do is plug in the progress value to the percent prop and we're done. Notice that almost all the work in this part is about styling the progress component. The uploading hooks make it almost trivial to connect the parts together. Let's see what we got. Now, when we choose our file, we see a nice progress circle filling up based on the uploaded percentage. Much nicer than our previous text-based indicator. For the third and last part, we'll see how to show progress for the entire batch and for multiple items at the same time. I'll add the uploading provider to the new story. This time, I also added the concurrent boolean prop. We'll discuss it in a few minutes, don't worry. In our custom component, We'll add state variables for the batch and items progress. For the batch progress, we will store the numeric value as we did for the item in previous parts. Notice I'm using the batch start listener hook and batch progress listener hook. I reset the items info 
when the batch starts uploading. For the items, we do the same really, only we store each item's progress separately. This will allow us to show a different indicator for each one. I'll add a few components now so I can show different styles of circles for the batch and items progress. The first one is a styled circle component that can have a different size based on a prop. Then I have a reusable circle component with parameters for the size and colors. Next are a couple of container components to put our progress indicators in. Nothing really interesting here, just a bit of HTML and CSS to make things tidy. I'll show the batch progress on one side of the container and then render a circle per each of the items in the batch on the other side. These will be vertical. Again, nothing special here, it's just a bit of React code. Now we're ready to see how it all looks like. I'll add a few files together, and if you remember, I used the concurrent flag earlier. This will by default upload two files concurrently, and it's of course configurable. Indeed, we see that the first two files are uploaded and we have two circles at once. The batch circle fills correspondingly with the progress of the items. When we remove the concurrent flag and upload the files again, we see that each circle is added serially one after the other, just as expected and with very little effort. In today's video, we covered a very important topic for apps that make use of file uploads, and that's how to show the upload progress to the users. Hopefully, you'll find this video interesting. It's part of an ongoing series I'm working on for React Uploady. Do let me know what else will be useful for me to cover in future videos. All of the important links can be found in the video's description. I'd really appreciate it if you add a like and a subscribe to this channel, and of course, give React Uploady a star on GitHub. Now, go code.